threading the sewing machine. Put the spool of thread on the spool pin. Grab the tail of thread and put it on the first thread guide. Insert it on the upper tension from back to front. From the upper tension, insert the thread on the thread take-up hole from back to front. From the thread take-up, slide the thread on the thread guide. From thread guide number 2, insert the thread on thread guide 3, near the needle bar. And finally, to the needle. Insert the thread through the needle's hole from left going to right. Now, let's review. Put the spool of thread on the spool pin. Grab the tail of thread and put it on the first thread guide on top. Down to the upper tension from back to front and up on the thread take up. Insert the thread from back to front. Down to the thread guide too. And then to the thread guide near the needle bar and finally, through the needle's hole. Lower threading. Lower threading is located at the bottom of the machine. When you slide the sliding plate, this is the bobbin shuttle where you put the bobbin case and the bobbin for the lower threading. So let's start. First, put the bobbin of thread on the bobbin Grab the tail of the thread and look for the slit. Slide the thread there. Place the bobbin case and the bobbin at the bottom of the machine. Hook up and then once you hear a thick sound, that's already in. Get the lower thread by holding the upper thread, needle down, and up. Upper thread, and the lower thread. When you sew, it is important that you match the color of the thread with your cloth. But for my demonstration today, I will be using red for the spool of thread and white for the bobbin of thread. This will help us differentiate the upper thread from the lower thread later. Once the upper threading and lower threading is done, we are now ready to sew. So to start sewing, insert the cloth in between the presser foot and the feed dog. Lower the presser foot using the presser foot lifter down so it already clipped your claw. Turn the balance wheel towards you. As you turn the balance wheel, the needle will also move. Now, use the treadle to keep the movement of the needle. So this is the upper thread of the stitch and 
then lower thread at the back. 